biogas is the gas produced by the anaerobic decomposition of organic matter. Now, when we say organic matter, most often we refer to organic matter as organic waste materials such as food waste, industrial food processing waste, vegetable waste, fruit waste, any kind of waste which can be biodegraded by the activity of microorganisms in the absence of oxygen. That process is called anaerobic digestion. So, now we can define biogas as the gas produced by anaerobic bacteria under anaerobic conditions for the degradation or the anaerobic biodegradation of organic material. The anaerobic digestion of organic material is done by a specialized group of microorganisms called methanogen. This particular group of microorganisms is of great importance to us because during the degradation of organic material, they produce the gas which is called biogas. Biogas is not just one gas, it is a mixture of two or three gases in combination. But the most important component of the majority of the biogas is composed of methane which forms around 50 to 70 percentage of the biogas composition. The remainder of the composition for biogas is composed of gases such as carbon dioxide which is composed of 10 to 20 percentage and the remainder is composed of other gases such as hydrogen sulfide and nitrous. So that means the biogas is not just one gas but it is a combination of several gases of which methane is the most important to us. Now why is methane very important to us? It is important to us because it can be burned. Because it can be burned, it can be used as a fuel. And why can it be used as a fuel? It can be used as a fuel because it has a very high calorific value. It has calorific value around 39,000 kilojoules per kilogram. This is very close to natural gas which has a calorific value of 43,000 kilojoules per kilogram. So that means methane is a precious fuel and it is coming from a renewable energy source. So biogas is a renewable source of energy and it is produced under anaerobic conditions and it is a mixture of more than one gas of which methane is the major constituent composing of around 50 to 70 percentage. Now methane is very very important to us and it is produced by a special group of microorganisms called methanogens. Methanogens are microorganisms which are capable of degrading organic matter in the absence of oxygen and during this biodegradation they produce what is called as biogas and the major bulk of the biogas which I am repeating again and again is methane which can be burned. That is why Biogas is such a precious fuel to us. Now, biogas is generally generated using what is called as a biogas digester. Biogas digesters are specialized constructed structures where organic waste material is introduced, closed so that the conditions are completely anaerobic or no oxygen is allowed to enter inside and it is seeded with methanogens which are the specialized bacteria capable of degrading organic waste material in the absence of oxygen and producing what is called as biogas. Now once the biogas is produced by the degradation of the organic material which is fed inside the biogas digester, this gas can be collected by tubes and then once it is collected it can be used as just about any fuel that is you can burn it and once you can burn it you can connect it to a stove, a specialized biogas stove or a specialized biogas burner and you can burn it to cook your food or to heat water or for lighting up lights. In fact, in London, they used to light up street lamps using the gases which is produced from sewage. Now, sewage is human waste which was degraded under anaerobic conditions. Now, there are several advantages to using biogas. Number one, it is a renewable source of energy. Number two, you can replace or reduce the consumption of conventional fossil fuels. For example, you can reduce the consumption of LPG cylinders by using biogas. Then, the most important advantage is you can use simple organic waste for the degradation and you get what is called as waste management because you are reducing the solid waste which is organic in nature and you are also turning that waste into wealth which means you are turning that waste into energy which is bioenergy which is biogas. Apart from these conventional advantages, the most important advantage at present is the generation of electricity from biogas. And that is a very very important advantage to huge food processing industries and to dairy industries they have a large amount of organic waste and they can generate electricity from that which means 
they can convert a very big part of their waste into energy which would have otherwise gone unutilized. Now, a very unconventional advantage of biogas is once the organic waste which is fed inside the biogas digest gets degraded, the slurry or the leftover solid material or the biodegraded material is concentrated and converted to very simple micronutrients by these microorganisms and that slurry is taken out of the biogas digester those fresh material has to be put inside but once you take out that slurry that slurry is rich in micronutrients and it is available in simplified and you can use that as an additive for your agricultural purposes you can use it as a soil additive you can use it as a fertilizer and that is one of the unconventional advantages of biogas digester that was a very simple introduction about biogas so let me repeat once again biogas is the gas produced by the anaerobic decomposition of organic waste material. It is produced by a specialized group of microorganisms called methanogens. And methanogens produce this biogas under anaerobic conditions.